G'day, g'day everyone. I've got something really special for you today. A little beauty of nature. A wonderful little bee, just a, a native bee. They're a tiny little insect. Uh, nowhere near the size of the normal bee, the honey bee. So they're nowhere near the size of a normal bee, but they are beautiful and they do make honey, but they haven't got stingers. So they can't sting me. I'm gonna get in nice and close and hopefully the camera picks them up for you. Let's have a look. Because they're so tiny they take a lot longer to make their honey than normal bees or domestic bees so you can buy their honey but it is a lot dearer because it takes so long to harvest it so I was lucky enough to find this little hive just in a tree in a car park near a little town here I've actually known about it for a long time, not many people know about it. Uh, a lot of people just don't take the time to slow down and have a look for the signs. It's a beautiful old camphor tree as well. So they do a lot of pollinating on this side of town. They're probably only the size of a, a good sized ant. And I just get the odd one landing on my face or buzzing around me, but most of them are just going about their business, off to pollinate, collect their honey, and come back to the hive. This, this bit of wood jutting out near the hive entrance is like their little landing strip. Doesn't that moss look lovely on the tree there? See all the honey track through the entrance there where they come in and land all the time. Well, I've come off the beaten track a little bit. I was walking along the footpath through the little town. It's just a small township here. And instead of going over the bridge, I thought I'd come for a look under the bridge. See if I can find any trolls. I'm gonna head over to Mum's now, but I know a shortcut and it goes along beside the creek with a lot nicer scenery. So I'm gonna head down towards the creek and cut through the bush go over to mum's place and I'll stay there for a while while the car gets work done on it. Take a little bit of a detour here and we'll get off the beaten track. Nice big gum tree. Lovely old river gum. Eucalyptus tree. Oh, look at the pretty pattern in the bark on that big old gum tree. The 
pretty light greens and yellows in that jacaranda as it's starting to lose its leaves. And that is the golden wattle. They're really common in Australia. They don't get anywhere near as big or even live as long as the gum trees and the eucalypts and a lot of the other trees around here. But they have a spectacular show of yellow flowers. And when you get a whole heap of them along the side of the road, they just light up the path with their beautiful yellow flowers. I'm glad I got to show you some of these. Real Australian classic, the wattle. What'll it be, mate? Oh, I'll have a yellow flower, thanks. <laughs> oh, look at that lovely ghost gum in there. She's a beauty. Look at it shining in the sun. Ah, oh, it's lovely. It's held that spot for a little while. Look how dry the creek is down there. It's reduced to a little series of water holes. There's one of the water holes down there. Bit of a break and then another little one further up. Just because the weather's so dry now, it's just a, a patchy little string of water holes instead of a running creek. I thought with all these gum trees around I might have found you a koala to look at, but I haven't spotted any yet. I'm just on my way home now and I've been to Mum's. I've got the car picked up, the car's got its shocks done. So I'm on my way home now and I've stopped at this little place on the way home because I know there's kangaroos around here sometimes. I wanted to see if I could get some on film for you. Hopefully I can spot a couple. It is lovely scenery here though, mountains in the distance. So I'll have a look around with the camera and try and get some nice shots for you. Hope you can see them too. See them just there? I can't get a great shot because they heard me coming and they're already starting to head the other way. There they go. Oh, look, there's some little melons growing wild here. They're about the size of a rock melon or a cantaloupe, but they got more like um, the colours of a watermelon. Hmm.
here we are back home. Had a good day while the car was getting done. Walked over to Mum's up the creek, got to see the native bees and a few other nice things. And then on the way home, we saw the kangaroos. And now we're back home to Kitty, Diesel, and the rest of the animals. All right, thanks for joining me today, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the walk with me. Remember, take time for the simple joys. Bye.